The video that we're showing now is based on a challenge that Pelco have been given in Southern Africa to accurately show the levels of uranium being filled into a um, barrel. The way it's going to be simulated is with a kettle and in good British style we can utilise this to make a cup of tea as well. What we have on the screen, so you can see, is a series of zones that have been set up and there's a kettle boiling in the background. Now the solution will support up to 16 zones across three different algorithms. Um, and what we have here is, as you can see, zone 1 is triggered to go into an alarm at 90 degrees, zone 3 86 degrees, zone 6 at 76. And you can see straight away zone number 6 has already gone into a, into a alarm as it already hits the temperature. Now a couple of interesting facts is, I'm not, even though I've got a British accent from, um, from, the, from Manchester, I live in an area called Midrand, which is part of the Greater Johannesburg. Um, we're 6,000 feet above sea level, which is equivalent to nearly 1,900 metres. So boiling point is actually less. Now boiling point is normally 100 degrees. What you'll see is just as, it, as you hear it go click, it will be around about 94 and a half degrees. And anybody who goes and checks on Google will see that that is the temperature that uh, boiling point is. And we also reach boiling point much quicker as well. So there you are, there's the temperatures going higher and higher. And zone number six has gone into alarm. And I'm just going to point, looking at the measure on the back of the kettle, which is there. So I did have my finger out scolding myself. And what it is actually showing is an accurate level, which shows basically here is your fill level. And look at that. And zone number five that went and it kicked in around about 94 and a half to 95 degrees. And the reason why the temperatures above became slightly hotter is because obviously heat rises. Take a tea bag. Feels like blue pizza this. Here's my mug. Some milk ready as well. And you'll see the heat as it rises through the mug. Which is very good for instrumentation or temperature monitoring. And the way the data is actually passed is through plain text using XML. So if you've got a SCADA system or process management or process operation type of system, the integration is relatively simple. Now, let's take a lid off the packet. The solution discussed with Eco Group was to, and you can see instantly, there's your fill level, very, very clearly, is to actually introduce an airway. So if I just blow into that very gently, you can see the difference between the two. So as the uranium is filled, you get your constant level differences now. I'm just going to use cold water. 